Hi, it's me, back on your fave television show, Renaissance Unchained, where we meet artists, explore buildings, and more, all just to teach you about the Renaissance. Today is the day you have all been waiting for. We are here, about to interview the man, the myth, the legend, Leonardo da Vinci himself. When you think Renaissance man, you think this guy, no doubt. There he is, Leonardo. I'm Lancelot James Humphrey III, with Renaissance Unchained. I'm such a fan. Oh, oh, you, you caught me painting. This work is, so, is still unfinished. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so embarrassed. This is so awkward. Leo. Leo, can I call you that? Yeah, dude, I mean, if you're here in my studio, that means you're my bro. So you can call me whatever. You hear that, viewers? Leo is just as cool as you probably all think he is. So, uh, what kind of questions do you have for me? What, what do you want to know? Well, to start off, just tell me a little about yourself. Well, okay, I mean, I am pretty famous, so I'm sure everyone already knows, but, like, I'll say anyway for the peasants. I'm from Vinci, Italy, hence the name. I'm a painter, which you probably know, but I'm also an inventor, scientist, and like anything else you can imagine. Wow, a real renaissance man. Um, yeah, that's not how you say it. <laughs> Anyways, you say you're an inventor. What have you invented? Dude, like, I hope you're ready. We're gonna go check out my sick ride. It's like super ahead of the time like it's popping just like prepare yourself bro <laughs> that's right dudes it's an amphibious car um you do know that cars haven't been invented yet this is this is just a boat anyways tell us more about your work how is it how has it created a cultural and societal awakening in europe well, in about 500 years, I'm going to be regarded as one of the most influential and greatest artists of all time. Not to brag. <laughs> My paintings, which, don't get me wrong, are like crazy popular today, will be even more popular and be world renowned. So, um, I'm kind of a big deal. To start with, my techniques, techniques really make people think about the art itself and inspire others. There is no culture better than art, bro. You don't just paint though. You really are the Renaissance personified, if I do say so myself. <laughs> yes, that's right. Only 15 of my paintings will survive to modern times, but many of my notebooks, drawings, and journals will make it. I have inspired so many people, and I will continue to do so for hundreds of years. Now, that's what I call a cultural and societal awakening. You are so right. No wonder you have so many fans. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching today's episode of the Renaissance Unchained. Join us next week for the great inside scoop on Christopher Columbus. Leonardo is here to show us an inside technique. Here we are back in his studio. All right, so what we're gonna do is start off with these three lines. Um. Some of the peasants out there, this might be a little hard for you, but like, I think some of you will be able to get it. So we got these lines, and then, okay, so we're going to do diagonal lines, which is a line going to the side. And then, okay, this is the hard part, so you're going to want to pay good attention. Now that part, like, if you can't do it, like, some people just can't. I mean, like, it's just if you have talent or not, I guess. And then, now we have the letter S, so my personal favorite word is and there you go and then you gotta sign it well done so what's it like filming the titanic 